reality check corona virus situation is not getting any better mindset check is that creating more panic or giving you more time to prepare if it's the latter then i think it'll be great for us to continue with our upskill reskill series we talk, started talking about it with technology about a week back and uh, i remember closing it with a little homework i hope you're at it and enjoying yourself doing that research on how you can use technology to stay relevant if you think if you think your research is going well then i would really love to know uh, what you've learned through that research and how do you think you will be able to stay more relevant in the times to come from technology we moved towards the four c's which are most important to know and uh, be an expert at in the 21st century the first one being creativity how can we look at our business in the current scenario of panic uh, and see uh, how to reinvent the way we do business bringing in our creativity let's now move to the second scene which is communication uh you know so if if it were like about even a year back and i had to talk about communication i would have still emphasized on uh personal communication one to one communication maybe email as a mode of communication but not so much anymore uh if the social media penetration was around uh, 2.8 uh, billion a year back i think it has uh, phenomenally gone up and now with this lockdown situation we're all doing nothing but hooked on to social media so that number has gone off the roof uh, without a doubt which means the way we communicate has substantially changed today if i have to take a session on communication i would want to really emphasize on digital etiquette uh, more than email etiquette what are the ways in which we need to communicate with each other using digital media uh in this space there are lots of different platforms that have been created have only been growing from the time uh, of their inception whether it is facebook which has over 2.2 billion users or insta which already has over 1 billion users we also have linkedin we have youtube uh, snapchat twitter but each media has its own style and taste what's important for us is to understand which platform is being used for what purpose and what is the age group hooked on to different platforms interestingly there is a little bit of distinction here so if you look at linkedin not too much penetration they give out 320 million users as of now monthly uh it is still a very serious uh, progressive platform it's my personal favorite because here i feel people share knowledge uh, you get to know about experts you get to grow your own understanding and learning it's uh, it's a platform where you want to make sense and you want to connect with others who do Uh if you look at Facebook now Facebook is about sharing personal thoughts feelings emotions connecting with people one to one relatives family groups it's where you want to share your you know personal thoughts and feelings mixed crowd in terms of age but uh most of the teenagers are still hooked on to Facebook if not Insta Insta is totally ruled by teenagers it's a younger crowd it's where people love short stories which last for 24 hours uh images uh, that's how they want to connect there might not necessarily be a heavy content or some strong messaging there but for as long as people can see each other and share experiences is what keeps in stuck going snapchat is something i've yet to explore but twitter is where you want to share your views and opinions a uh, very concise way to talk about what you really feel what makes you successful on twitter is how authentic you are with your emotions and uh, opinions So I urge you to explore this new way to communicate because this is the way we are going to communicate from here on. We need to start getting comfortable with these different social platforms. Uh so I invite you to dive into each of these, spend some time and uh see which one you want to familiarize yourself with. So let me leave you with three simple steps to follow to be better in communicating in on uh social media as a a, a way to communicate. Number 1 know your audience who are the people you want to connect with who are the people you want to talk to number 2 make sure you add value what is the content you're going to share on that platform and how is that content going to be of any value to your audience and number 3 decide the frequency and stick to that commitment the only way uh, you become visible on any platform is with your consistent effort to show up There is no right frequency in my view. I I don't know if there is any uh, science behind it not to my knowledge whether once a week is a good uh, frequency or twice a week or more 
is better. But one thing I know for sure, whatever the frequency you choose to stick to, make sure you do that consistently. And do that till such time you know you're adding value. So take these three steps back, explore these three steps over the weekend. And maybe next week is when we get started with our journey to explore this way of communication. I hope this made sense to you. Please explore, have fun with it. And remember to stay safe and stay connected.